Hey everyone, Joel Anser, and today we're going to be in San Antonio, Texas. I love Texas, and guess what we're doing today? Something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Today we're going to have a West African food challenge, which I'm like super, super pumped about. I love to bring new cuisines. You guys have been requesting different cuisines, so here we go, guys. African for the first time. So this is like a Nigerian slash Ghanaian kind of food challenge, I guess you could say, consisting of some favorites like jollof rice, also some boiled chicken, like these giant looking chicken legs covered in a bright red peppery sauce. I know we have some sweet plantains on there as well. I'm gonna give you the exact details. I know this is an absolutely, well, it looks like a big challenge, but I've heard it's a lot bigger than it looks. So I'm kind of curious as to that. Anyway, I know we're gonna have one hour to complete the challenge. I think it's about a 60-ish dollar meal if we were to fail. Um, that being said, I'm super excited. There is like so much rice. If you're not familiar, jollof rice is a very, very popular African dish. Again, it's kind of like a tomato cooked, seasoned rice. It'll be my first time having it. So we are at a place called Trices. They are a African food restaurant um, specializing in the West African cuisines of like, but like of a diverse amount. So like Nigerian, Ghanaian, Cameroonian. Um, so like all that beautiful part of Africa. So I'm sure we're gonna have some authentic cuisine. I'm very excited for that. So anyway, let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. Hopefully you can get that meal for free. A giant West African food challenge. I'm so excited. So with that, let's go have some fun, eat some food. Let's get rocking. Everybody's so a hero with all the food. Looks delicious. I can't say I've ever had anything quite like this before, but these flavors, the scents, the smells, they just, Ooh, it looks and smells fantastic. So I'm here with Elsie. Elsie is one of the owners here. So tell me very briefly, kind of what we have in front of us, because you, you are the expert in this cuisine. <laughs> so I know we have what you call the stewed chicken, which is, you say it's deep fried and then stewed with the sauce. Is that right? Right. So what is actually kind of in the sauce there? Okay, so the sauce is, is tomatoes based. Tomato based. And um, you have a lot of, of flavorful spices. Mm. Um, we have garlic, ginger, rosemary, bay leaves, curry. I can, so. And I can smell that. Mm -hmm. And now you also said there's some very special African, you know, spices. They're like an African nutmeg, is that right? Right. The African nutmegs, depending on which part of Africa you come from, is called differently. So yeah, but the English name popularly called uh, African nutmeg. Hey, I like it. And then we have some fried plantains. Right, those are sweet fried plantains. Um, the plantains have ripen uh, ripened and they were just deep fried in uh, oil. Hey, I mean a little sweet, a little savory, right? Yeah, very sweet. <laughs> Ooh, very sweet, okay, maybe dessert, maybe. And then we have a mound, absolute, absolute mound of this jollof rice here. So tell me a little bit about jollof rice. So jollof rice is a popular, a popular dish in West Africa. Uh, depending on which part of West Africa you're coming from, it's cooked a little bit differently. Um, and they taste a little bit differently too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's a uh, rice cooked in tomato sauce, a rich tomato sauce. A and rich it's tomato really, sauce. really good. Hey, I look forward to trying it. And you mentioned this is a little bit more like a Ghana slash Nigerian style, is that right? Right, it's right in the middle. I because like uh, me, I'm Ghanaian and my husband is Nigerian, so. It's right in the middle. <laughs> I think, I, that, that sounds like a good compromise. But hey, thank you so much for walking me through all this. I really look forward to trying it. These are the biggest chicken legs to everybody I've, I've ever seen. I'll, I'll show you in a second so I don't get my hands dirty. Seriously, probably the biggest chicken legs I've ever seen in my life. So you guys know how to pick them, that's for sure. But hey, thank you so much for walking me through this. I really look forward to trying this, guys. So you always like different cuisines, West African, here we are. All right, everybody, so like I said, this looks absolutely delicious. I really never had anything quite like this before, but it smells good. Like lots and lots of flavors, lots of spices in it. So I'm definitely excited for that. I've already undone the belt. We're gonna need it. This is a lot of food in front of us. I'll give us some more of the kind of red sauce they have for the chicken here. Um, but yeah, pretty much I'm ready to get rocking. Woo, no shortage of food, but <laughs> I'm excited. Like I said, so uh, I'll probably start with some of this chicken. Looking mighty tasty, but yeah, seriously, probably the biggest chicken legs I've ever seen in my life. So fried and stewed. How we can start it? Let's say uh, maybe three, two, one. Let us eat. Mmm. Oh man. Ooh, gosh. Seriously. That's about. I'm sure, this is not, I'm sure this is not a turkey leg. This is massive. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That flavor though. We got like the tomato. Mm. It's really rich. Mm. Wow. 
lots of flavors, lots of spices in there. I don't even think I could begin to name them all. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Guys, just said. It's damn good. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, and what you are about to see is one of the most difficult food challenges and one of the most tasty food challenges I have ever attempted in a very, 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 maybe ever, but very long time. So let's get into this awesome West African cuisine. One out of eight massive legs down. Mm. Really good. You guys actually boil these before you fry them, right? Mm. The, I can tell like the flavor really penetrates into the meat. All the way down. So this is my first time having stewed and or boiled chicken, however you want to call it, but man, this was so delicious. And I kind of inquired, but that's generally what they just kind of call it, just kind of like the stewed chicken. The flavors, oh my gosh, the way they permeated the meat. The way the beautiful sauces and spices were just on the outside. There is just so much flavor going on here. There is so much spice going on here. And I loved it. Honestly, like this is a dish I would eat day after day, time and time again. I was like, I loved this chicken. It was so good. Now, is it correct to say that it's very common in, in, Af in a lot of African cultures to eat with your hands? Very common, guys. There you go. I have an excuse today. <laughs> but I think fried chicken, you know, chicken in general, it's pretty safe to eat with your hand. But there's so many cool items in the African cuisine. Like the, um, is it the, uh, what's, what's, it's like the uh, corn or maize? And the, you, the fondant yam? Yeah. The fufu. the fufu. Yeah, the fufu. It's like a, kind of like a, corn pasty thing and they actually use it like a little micro tortilla to eat the food with so I like it. that's kind of the best way to describe it and you have that here right mm -hmm. it's such an expansive menu covering Nigerian Cameroon and yeah. Ghana cuisine so this challenge was definitely a lot bigger than I anticipated. Um, so I would say, like when I heard it was eight chicken legs, I thought they were just like standard chicken legs. These things were probably two to three like normal sized chicken legs each. They were, yes, I know I've said a million times, but massive. I want a ginger on that bite. If I had to guess, I'd say there was between four to five pounds of chicken alone. Um, with the rice, there was minimum three to four pounds of rice. I don't know if you can tell, but that is just an absolute sheer huge pile of the jollof rice. You are told the plantains are very, very sweet, so I'm probably going to save those for last. Maybe have dessert. If we can even get through all this chicken, and especially this rice. This rice is going to be the, 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 the hard part. It's a, it's a lot of rice. Good portions, I'll put it that way. And as the jollof rice is like a wet, moist rice, if that makes sense, like it's cooked in with lots of sauces and stuff, it's extra heavy, it's extra weight to it. So it's extra like heavy and more dense compared to if it was just like a plain rice, if that makes sense. Plus we had the, uh, I would guess probably about a pound to a pound and a quarter, uh, maybe a pound and a half of the fried plantains, which they ripen them in the back uh, like of the restaurant. They ripen them themselves to make sure they are peak perfection and ripeness. So I was in sh like pretty dang sure they were gonna be nice and sweet uh, if I was even gonna get to attempt them because this thing was going down pretty difficultly. All right, these are just getting bigger by the minute. Huge. Yeah, I don't think this is a chicken. These are mutant chickens. Ostrich, maybe. <laughs> So believe it or not, this is actually one of the like most amazing and memorably tasting food challenges I have had in a very long time. I did eat prior to this, which was totally my misjudgment. So I was just so focused on trying to get this down. And then, like I said, when this thing came out, probably about twice as big as I anticipated, I knew I was just gonna have to focus. So, you know, watching back, 
you know, I, I'm definitely am a lot less expressive than I normally would be for something which was so enjoyable. But you have to take me at my word for this because I like I seriously sit here and I was like I think about like oh my gosh that would be amazing to eat right now. And let me know a food that you would like to eat right now in a comment down below. What else is super cool about this place and this restaurant is they'll make like any item as spicy as you want it. So while I just went with like the standard spice on this chicken, if you want it spicy, they are going to make it for you. And next time I'm back in San Antonio, I'm going to go back for a casual meal um, and hopefully get some super, super spicy stewed chicken here at Trice's for sure. And the nice thing the way they did this, like there's so much flavor all on every bite and it's just literally coated in it. So it really works. Nothing is flavorless or lacking flavor. So much flavor. So we did have one hour to complete the challenge and after I got into this I see why it is an hour time limit. It is definitely needed. This was like so deceiving even to look at this on the camera it just does not do it justice there is so much food there um, and like I said just huge delicious heavy items and let me know like I don't these chicken legs I they were I mean don't get me wrong they tasted like chicken legs but they were so big I didn't know chickens could have legs that big if that makes sense they were I'll just say this they were thick with like five C's uh, but yeah, besides that though, that's pretty much the main, you know, kind of gist and majority of the challenge. Um, I'll talk about the food some more, but the spices, the flavors on this were just absolutely exceptional. Like I said, I definitely cannot wait to get my hands on some more of this chicken. And I may even have to go redeem myself and maybe redeem, uh, you know, attempt this challenge again. I'll put it that way. That's like I said, this is a big one. Don't know if we're going to finish it. So let's ultimately see what happens. Yeah, two more legs to go. <laughs> Lots of food, guys. No shortage. I got to say, North American fried chicken, you guys can learn a thing or two from this chicken right here. This is called complete flavoring. It, what is so impressive, like I said, obviously it's sauce on the outside, but the way they boiled that chicken, the flavors literally just permeate throughout the meat. I don't actually think I've ever had chicken similar to compare or describe it to because it's like it is flavor throughout. It is nuts. And then obviously it's like slightly different flavor on the outside and the inside. Now, student meats is very common in, in a lot of African cultures, though, right? right. If everything tastes like this, I understand why. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I have air, I'm going to dip it in that sauce. This stuff is so good, though. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. I would have dipped that all up. Man, that stuff is so good. It is definitely like there's a bit of like an oil base on it, so it's really, really rich. It's very savory. But, man. Okay. African cuisine, maybe the new king of flavored cuisine. Holy crap. At least your choices, they definitely got it down. Yeah. Yeah, that was the best stuff ever. Yeah. You, you just should bottle that and sell it. Do you sell that stuff? Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would buy it. Bottle and sell it, everybody. Mm -hmm. Man, flavor. Whew. All right. Mm. Made through the chicken. No shortage, that is for sure. I had a few flavored beverages. These are just Hawaiian pack, pu Hawaiian punch packets. People are always like, Joe, what are you drinking? That's what's up. All right, guys. Get some jollof rice, which is a very similar um, spice profile to that chicken, apparently. So I'm excited to try it. Mm. Oh, man. 
So this is a similar taste. But something's a little different. Hold on, let me see if I can pinpoint it. You get like that bay leaf. And something. Something like, um, it's kind of fresh. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. Very herbal. Mm. Man, I don't know what that flavor is. It's very good though. What kind of spices are in this? Ginger, garlic, mm -hmm. um, rosemary, mm -hmm. curry. Mm, maybe it's rosemary. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, very, um, yeah, kind of mm, refreshing almost. Very good though. Mm. There's a bit of spice to it. They will make it as spicy as you like. On with the standard. But apparently they will make it real spicy if you want it real spicy. Whew. Yeah, there's a lot of rice here. All right, making my way through it, slowly but surely. There really is a lot of rice there. It was uh, deceiving how much. Let me just have the plantains, the rice. Whew, it is really delicious. I smell that sauce there I might use here in a moment. But just keep on trucking. And if you made it to this point of the video, you are one of the real ones. Thank you so much for watching and not just skipping ahead. Or if you happen to skip and land in the spot, hey, you got lucky today. So let's play a joke on the skippers. And I want you to comment down below, Joel, it was great to meet your new assistant. Or something about an assistant. So comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. Thank you so much for commenting. I love to get to know you guys through the comments. Thank you for liking the video. It helps with the general success of the video and of the channel. And then that helps me to travel more and bring you more content. So I appreciate you. And with that, let's get back to the rest of the video. Very good, just a lot of rice. <laughs> All right, pretty much almost in the rice, got a little left. Plantains, we'll get started in those. Whew. 
I'm heating up, that's for sure. Meat sweats, rice sweats are real. Try these sweet plantains. I think it's gonna be nice and ripe. I saw them out back. They're very, very delicious. Oh yeah. Ooh. That is a that was a delicious but sweet plantain. Yeah, I'm glad it saves your last. I'm really dessert. Here, guys. Ooh. Too spicy? Um, there's lots of spices. I wouldn't say it's spicy. Pepper. Pardon me? Too much pepper? Uh, no, no, it's okay. It, it, it tastes really good. Ooh. I'm just hot. <laughs> Not for sure. Make that nice and cold. Ooh. Probably take some of this ice. Just put it right here. Ooh. That'll wake you up in the morning. Ooh. All right. Very good. Let's see if we can get this done. Yeah, I got a burp. If I know if I burp, get rid of some of that air in me, it'll I feel so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It'll come. It'll come at some point. Bye. Delicious. Man, I underestimated how big that was. There's so much rice there, but it's very, very good. The chicken was very good. The plantains were really good. I ate breakfast this morning. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. That was, I was definitely feeling that. Yeah, like I said though, guys, he sent to Trices. I absolutely love the flavors here. This was so amazing. I'll definitely come back. I definitely look forward to having more West African cuisine. So if you're ever in the San Antonio area, guys, definitely stop on by. 
I would 10 out of 10 recommend. Although you can get a normal sized portion, you don't need to eat this much. <laughs> now they have all kinds of Nigerian, Cameroonian, and Ghan, Ghana, Ghan, Ghana. Ghana, Ghana, Ghanaian? Ghanaian cuisines. So that everybody, like I said, delicious, hearty, that's for sure. But definitely stopping by, really cool spot. And uh, yeah, so that was a meal for you guys, it's pretty cool. West African food, I definitely recommend. I look forward to getting more in the future. Until next time, huge thanks to the staff, much appreciated. And that guys, have a lovely day. Definitely a lot of food. That's for sure. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I got food, baby. Yeah, that's definitely. Enjoy. Thanks so much. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs>